Good Wednesday morning, GLADS. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Moose Santos, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, we have several college visits scheduled this month, and you can stay on top of upcoming college visits by checking in with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Here's the lineup. Colorado Mesa University has a visit scheduled next Wednesday, February 20th, followed by the reps from Fort Hayes State on Thursday, February 21st. We had a visit from the Pacific Northwest College of Art, but they had to reschedule, and we don't have a new date yet, so stay tuned. For March, there is only one visit scheduled, and that one happens on March 7th, when the Adams State reps join us. Western Colorado University will join us in April on the 17th. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits, and you can get those passes in the Counseling Center. Seniors, listen up. If you ordered announcements from Herf Jones, they will be here this Friday in the auditorium at lunch to deliver those. You will need a photo ID to pick those up. If you will not be here to pick up your paid order, check in with Mrs. Abeda for your order. Here's one more very cool opportunity for a paid internship. If you are great at skiing or snowboarding, check in with Mr. Thiel for an opportunity to apply for an internship where you would be a ski or snowboard instructor. You do have to apply because the process is selective. Check in with Mr. Thiel for more information. Seniors, our nurse wanted to share some important information with you about meningitis. Check this out. Hi, I'm Lindsay Malott and I'm the school nurse here at Whitefield High School and I was just here today to talk about meningitis. Meningitis is when you have a uh, tissue that's covering the brain and the spinal cord that becomes infected or swells. The signs and symptoms of meningitis are headache, stiff neck, fever, nausea and vomiting, and confusion. Um, some of the complications of meningitis are there could be loss of limbs, deafness, a nervous system problems, a brain damage, or could be death. So meningitis can spread through the saliva, such as coughing or kissing. Um, you also, if you live in the same household, why it's so important for to get vaccinated before college because you live in close quarters or the, if you're going into the military. The ones who are at risk are babies, teens, and young adults, or if you have certain medical conditions that suppress your immune system can also increase the risk for getting this no matter how old you are. You can get the meningitis vaccine and that protects you against A, C, W, and Y. And then there's also the meningitis B vaccine. And the number one way to prevent is just washing your hands. So all 11 to 12 year olds get the first dose. And then when you are 16, you have a booster. Getting the meningitis vaccination is very important. This can be a very serious illness and that requires immediate medical attention. Thanks, Mrs. Malott. That's very helpful information for everyone. Glad the mill is hosting an open house tonight at 6 p.m. for parents and students interested in cabinet manufacturing and construction technology courses. This is a great way to get more information for the courses next year. When we return from the break, we'll have a shout out for our awesome teachers. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Hannah Hall. Good Wednesday morning, GLADS. I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJROTC Cadets, the deadline to return your outside guest forms for the military ball is February 22nd. The ball is on March 16th, and we will have more information about the dance as the time gets closer. The forensics team returned from the national qualifier over the weekend with Casey Ringer and Taya Andrews advancing to the super session, where they placed 15th and 20th out of all the students in Southern Colorado. Katrina Stevenson also placed third in the big question debate. Congratulations, ladies. The team is headed to Liberty High School this weekend for regionals, and we wish them the best of luck. Our Lady Gladiators tackled several opponents over the last week. But before we jump into their scores, we have some great news to share. On Friday night, Aaliyah Ricketts broke the Widefield High School career scoring record. Aaliyah currently has 1,216 career points and still has two games to go. The record she shattered was previously held by Shanna Coleman in 2001. The ladies beat the Elizabeth Cardinals 48-42 that night. Congratulations, Aaliyah. That win was a great rebound from last Wednesday's game against Sierra when our ladies lost in a tough match 75-48. The ladies were on the road last night against the Mitchell Marauders and blanked those sailors. Our ladies are celebrating Valentine's Day at the Purple School at 6 p.m. 
Go out and show them some love. This is a double header with the boys game afterward. So come early and stay for both to cheer on the good guys. On the men's side of the house, our boys are on fire. They won their game against Sierra last week by five baskets with a score of 54 to 44. On Friday night, the boys schooled Elizabeth Cardinals with a score of 38 to 62. That's some hot basketball right there. Last night, the fellas also tangoed with the Mitchell Marauders and added another W to their season record. Tomorrow night, our gladiators will be traveling to the Purple School to take on the Grizzlies at 7.30 p.m. The games are back to back, so let's take our flagship pride and show those Grizzlies how it's done. Go Glads, beat Mesa. Ladies, open gym for soccer started last night. If you missed it, see Coach Sardinia in room 130 for details. Our wrestling team edged out some opponents over the weekend to advance to the regional meet this weekend. Regional matches will be at Discovery Canyon Campus on Saturday. Come cheer on our wrestlers as they work their way to the state competition. The boys swim team preseason practices will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.30 for the next two weeks. If you are interested in joining the team, it's not too late to sign up. Check with Mrs. Wickberg in room 110 for details. Glads, stay tuned on Friday for Damon's Dose of Health when we will learn about decluttering our lives. Mr. Damon has some great tips for us on spring cleaning. Spring sport athletes. Get your yellow cards now in the main office. Practices will start soon and you cannot practice without it. If you don't have a physical, you can get those packets in the main office as well. Glads, it's Spirit Week and today is Relationship Status Day. Tomorrow, I'm wearing all my Gladiator gear because it is a blue out. And remember, we are on an assembly schedule. Get ready for Friday when you can wear your favorite sheet for a toga day. Get your Julius Caesar on, but remember to wear clothes under your toga. You can wear hats if they are part of your outfit, but no full face paint is allowed. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Hannah Hall. Have a great week. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Moose. Thanks for that update, Hannah. Ladies, it's not too late to set up an appointment to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. Shop here first and save yourself some money. See Miss Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library to make your shopping appointment. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Glad. The Winter Homecoming is this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Tickets in advance are $5 in the business office, but you can get them at the door for $10. Today is the last day to vote for the Winter Royal Court and nominees will be presented tomorrow at the assembly. Winners will be announced at the dance on Friday. If you need more information, check in with Miss Melton in room 103 for all the details. All right, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. We're ready. Are you ready? It's hump day. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's for lunch? What's for lunch what's today? What's for lunch? Are you asking that right now? Are you wondering right now in your mind what was for lunch? Huh? Yeah. I, I have ESPN. I knew it. But we're having rancher pie instead of beef shepherd's pie. Because shepherd is a sheep herder, thus shepherd. So it can't be a beef shepherd pie. It has to be a beef rancher pie. Beef rancher pie it is. How about that? Yes, I like it. Okay, and on Thursday we're going to have... Soup and sandwich. Soup and sandwich. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. With tomato soup. Tomato soup. Mm. Woo hoo, yummy, I'm yummy. I'm dipping the grilled cheese in the tomato soup. Mm. Can you follow me? See this table here? If after lunch there's something on your tray you don't want, like that's something that's sealed, like your milk or whatever, please set it here because there might be a hungry student that could benefit from that. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. Remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. Glad's test prep sessions will be suspended tomorrow because of the assembly. You can sign up for next week's sessions in the library. Thanks to everyone who donated money to the Penny Wars Drive. Congratulations to the junior class. They earned Charlie Cup points and an early lunch for this Friday. Way to go, class of 2020. Glad's today is the last day to order your candy grams from the freshman class. You can order those outside the main office for only a dollar. Candy grams will be delivered to your boo, your BFF, or secret crush tomorrow during first hour. The Power Club is having a meeting today at lunch room 130. And finally, check out this shout out for some of our great teachers. Hi, I'm Dylan Key and I wanted to thank Ms. Scarborough for being a wonderful and amazing teacher. She's really understanding with all of her students and is willing to put in the extra effort to help students who are struggling in her class. And I just wanted to appreciate her. Thank you, Ms. Scarborough. Hi, my name is Kama Belisario Kalili and I did my reverse power ticket on Ms. Ford. I appreciate her very greatly because she takes the time out of her day to help each student individually. I don't have her this year, but I still respect her. Love you, Ms. Ford. Hello, my name is Derek, and I'd like to commemorate this power ticket to my vocational exploration teacher. Her name is Ms. Boats, and I'd like to say that she takes great pride in teaching and 
teaching us how to be a great employee for the workspace. Thank you. My name is Lisa, and I give my card on Miss Ford because she's an amazing teacher that helps everybody out, and I just want to say thank you, Miss Ford. My name's Toby Dials. I did mine on Miss Kanan. She's a calm teacher, always inspiring, and she helps out with a lot. Thanks, Miss Kanan. Remember, you can send your powerful teachers a shout out too by filling out the reverse power cards. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. Remember, we have an assembly tomorrow for the winter homecoming. Oh, also remember that tomorrow is a blowout day, so wear your favorite gladiator gear. I'm Moose Santos, and this was your KWHS News.